I've been blessed to have the opportunity. I've been preaching this gospel for about 40 years. And over those 40 years, I have chosen, I have been led by the Spirit of God to be self-supporting. Self-supporting in as much as I've, I've had jobs, I've run businesses. And I've been impressed by the fact, because I had been a, I had been a consultant before I got saved in New York City. I'd been, I'd, I'd done consulting work for some of the largest corporations in the world for small businesses. And business was kind of my passion. But I found out when I got saved that everything that I knew that was good in business, done right, is in the Word of God. Yes, it is. Now you think, oh, wait a minute, this is a religion book. No, it's not a religion book. It's a life book. Yes. You know, Peter said, Manufacturer's handbook. handbook. Peter said that God has given us everything pertaining to life and godliness. Yes. Not just godliness, but to life and godliness. Mm -hmm. I promise you there is instruction for how do you to perform at work. And one of the things you should know about performing at work is that we have what's called in England a royal warrant. Yes. Now, a royal warrant is really a cool thing because this is for the elite of merchants and people that provide service and products who can provide them to the royal house. Because if they are selected to do that, they receive what is called a royal warrant. And you'll see on their letterhead, on their doors, on, on their stationer, it'll say, by appointment to Her Majesty the, the, the Queen. You know, we, we make shoes or we make paper, we do whatever. But we do it by appointment to Her Majesty. Well, you know what? That's nice. But you have a royal warrant from the King of Kings. Because you are to do everything that you do. Whether you're a plumber, a, a baker, a candlestick maker, carpenter. carpenter, whatever you do, you're to do it as unto the Lord. You have a warrant to do it as to, for, the King of Kings. Yes. That's better than the Queen of England. No offense, honey. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's why Matthew, in Matthew, mm. Jesus went on to say, Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Now, this is truly an important thing. You are to do good works. You are. There, there is a social gospel. There is an everything gospel, okay, pertaining to life and godliness. Well, that's one of the changes that happens in us when we're born again. Yes. I mean, it's something that you want to do. You should want to do it yeah. because the love of God that's has true. been poured into your heart through the Holy Spirit. And that love is not, you know, I love Alice. Mm -hmm. A bitch, okay. But I, I, I am called, as Alice is, mm -hmm. to have the love of God for everybody. Yes. Saint and sinner alike. Mm -hmm. Friend and foe alike. That's right. You know, it's not our job as, as ambassadors for Christ, as a people who have a ministry of reconciliation, it's not to fight off the evildoers. Now, there is a ministry to do that, but that, that ministry has been given to governments who have been given the sword to protect us from evildoers. It is not our ministry. Our ministry is to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. To bring the light of God into this world of darkness. That's our ministry. So, we have to let that light shine. Whatever we do, like I said, if you're a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker, whatever you do, you have to do it in a way that people see God's light in you. Mm -hmm. And you want to know something? They can. They can. They'll see something different in you. It's not hard to see today so many people who are so off at work. Mm -hmm. They're unhappy, mm -hmm. they're miserable, yeah. so they're grumbling and complaining. You know, it says in the Word that we're not to grumble or complain. It says that we are to give thanks in all things, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. It says that whatever so we do, as I said, we were to do it as unto the Lord. If you do that, people will notice a difference in you. It'll be a different attitude. Yes, because God has made a difference in your life. Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus. For although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant, and being made in the likeness of men, being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross.